Yo, what's up guys, it's Seahawks area back with another video, and today I'm giving you every NFL team's issues, in my humble opinion. We got the most simple way to do it, just the one tier called issues, and we have all the teams scrambled up besides the last three for some reason. But anyway, we're going to be starting with the Saints. Their biggest issue is Dennis Allen is still their head coach. Why, why, why is he still your coach? His coaching record is, is terrible. Before he took over as their head coach, it was terrible still. But for some reason, he's convinced the Saints to still think he's the right guy for the job when Bill Belichick and Mike Vrabel were right there. But nope, he decided to stick with this man. Please part ways with him after this season, because he's piss poor terrible. Now we got the Miami Dolphins. Your issue is you're so accustomed to playing in Miami, like, since that's your home, and the second you go anywhere below 70 degrees and not sunshine, you, you fumble. You just crumble up like crumble cookie. You don't know how to play football. You're clueless out there like a Pop Warner football team. Like, you gotta figure that out. It's been like this for, like, since Mike McDaniel has been your head coach, honestly. Now we got the Ravens. Um, your play calling in the AFC Championship was your biggest issue. <laughs> uh, don't do that again. And honestly, I think your receivers might actually be a bigger issue. Because outside of Zay Flowers, I can't name a person. Like, do you still have Aguilar? Do you still have Bateman? Ugh. None of, none of that's good. And also, I, you, your secondary might be a little bad i'm not sure but your receivers are not good outside of flowers bengals joe burrow's health he has never played a healthy a full healthy season besides i think 2021 like, like that's gotta be that's without a doubt your biggest issue that and your defense is uh, still not really the best especially your secondary he needs to be fixed. I think Eli Apple's stench is still there from two, three seasons ago. Denver. Um, uh, you don't have Justin Simmons anymore. That's a big issue. Your quarterback room is an issue. Zach Wilson bust. Bo Nix, rookie. Drafted him way too early. Like a round or two way too early. I'm, I'm still on that. And uh, Sean Payton's kind of a dick. But, yeah. New York Giants. Daniel Jones is still your quarterback. Start Drew Locke. No, I'm being dead serious. Start Drew Locke. In the, like, two games he Drew Locke played last year, if I was the Giants GM, that would convince me enough to start him over Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones' pre-injury last year was worse than him in 2020, possibly, or 2021. That 2022 season, it was, like, for, for Daniel Jones, that was a great year. For literally any other starting above-average quarterback, that's, like, 10 weeks of stats right there. That's bad. You're saying, like, not even 20 touchdowns in a season just because you've limited interceptions. That deserves a contract of that magnitude. Okay. Vikings. Uh, Sam Darnold is your starting quarterback for... For now, at least. Why? What? And also, your O-line is... Yikes. Besides the fact that you just extended Derrishaw, I think... Like, 70 mil guaranteed or something like that. I don't know. I don't keep up. Los Angeles Rams. Um, sorry to, like, just say quarterbacks, but, like... The age of Matt Stafford. And also... Uh... Nothing can ever replace Aaron Donald in today's NFL, at least. I don't think it's possible to replace Aaron Donald. Uh, even if you got the two Florida State boys that were teammates in college, obviously. that That's not enough. Like, yeah, two is better than one. But Aaron Donald was like five people in one. Like, he was unstoppable. The only way you could stop him was... Making sure every O-lineman blocked specifically him. I don't know if that's ever actually happened, though. Tampa Bay. Um, this might be, like, 
what the hell are you talking about? But uh, linebackers, I would say, maybe head coach. I'm still not sold on Todd Bowles. And outside of Levante David, I legit cannot name one linebacker you have. Unless Yaya Diaby is a linebacker. I'm pretty sure he's like an edge rusher. Detroit Lions. Um, well, you fixed your biggest issue in the offseason, so I'm not really sure. Like, corners were your biggest concern and issue, but you fixed that, so I'm just going to say Dan Campbell is aggressive too many times, at sometimes the worst possible times. I, I, that's the only thing I'd say, honestly. I don't really see anything wrong with this team. I mean, maybe receiver depth outside of Amon Ra because Jamison Williams still hasn't really played a, a whole lot. And I, once again, can't name another receiver you have outside of those two. Chicago Bears. Um, same with the Lions. I'm just going to say your head coach. Still not sold on Eberflus. I don't know exactly what he does. Um, maybe half of your offense could be an issue because they have no chemistry altogether. I mean, Herbert, or Cleo Herbert, Roshan Johnson, Cole Komet, DJ Moore all have chemistry together from last year. But new quarterback, also DeAndre Swift is new. Keenan Allen is new and old. Romo Dunze is a rookie. Your offensive line is... I'm not sure. I don't study O-line. I don't really study a lot. But I'm not sure if your O-line is like good, good. Outside of Darnell Wright. San Francisco. Kyle Shanahan in the Super Bowl. Next. Philadelphia Eagles. Um, Your head coach makes me so mad. That's an issue. No one likes Nick, Dick Sirianni. No one likes him. I'm not sure Eagles fans actually like him. Let, let's one-on-one -on -one for a second. Eagles fans, do you like Nick Sirianni? And don't lie. It's okay to say you hate him because everyone else hates him as well. Raiders, your quarterback room. Big Minshew fan. I love Gardner Minshew. But I'm not, I'm not sure for a full season starter. He has Devontae Adams. He has... Um, Brock Bowers and Michael Mayer. He has Jacoby Myers. He has Zamir White, who showed a lot of promise last year because Josh Jacobs was trash. Um, your O-line is improving, so I don't think it could be an issue. Maybe, maybe Tyree Wilson, because he wasn't good last year and you drafted him at like 7, something like that. So maybe that could be your biggest issue. I don't know. Green Bay Packers, extending Jordan Love. You haven't done that yet, but he does not deserve to be the highest paid quarterback after eight good games last year. That is ridiculous. Washington Commanders, the hiring of Dan Quinn. Why? Why did you wait so long for all these other head coaching options to be off the table so you can end up with... Dan Quinn, when once again, just like I said for the Saints, when Mike Rabel and Bill Belichick were on the table, and you also got Cliff Kingsbury as their offensive coordinator. That's horrible. That's really, really bad. Arizona Cardinals. Your defense is a big question mark still. Like, what what all did you really do to improve it besides drafting Darius Robinson? Like, seriously, I, I don't actually know. It's the only thing I know. And, I guess, lack of weapons for Kyler. Steelers. Um, your offensive line, maybe? But you drafted two. You drafted Zach Frazier and Troy Fatani. You drafted Broderick Jones last year, so probably not that. Maybe offensive weapons and quarterback play. I will never hate Russell Wilson, but I'm not. I'm not sure if 
if he's going to start the whole year. And Justin Fields is not good. Besides his rushing, like, he's, he's not a good thrower. I'm sorry. Buffalo Bills. Literally outside of Keon Coleman, you're receiving options for Josh Allen. Like, receivers, not tight ends. Let's see. Pretty sure you signed Chase Claypool. Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Khalil Shakir, yeah, he's good. Um, Mac Hollins. I'm probably missing someone, but that's that's not a good receiving core. What is that? I think you have Jamison Crowder as well. I'm not sure, but that's the, one of the set. That's the second saddest receiving core Josh Allen has ever had. I think his receiving core in 2018 is much worse. Was much worse. But I digress. Atlanta Falcons. Um, your biggest issue would be the usage of your top weapons on offense. But the uh, terrorist responsible for that is not on your team anymore. So I'm not really sure. Maybe the age of Kirk Cousins, and if he plays at a high level coming off that injury, that that that's your biggest issue. That's the first one that came to my mind. Seahawks, you guys, were, we were like the most penalized team in the league last year. Our defense was one of the worst. I'm convinced it was the worst. Um, the O line wasn't good again. Injuries. Where where do I begin? Um. If I really had to say our biggest issue is center. Unless we sign Connor Williams, I'm not sold on Nick Harris or Big Olu. I know he had a few good games last year, but I'm still not comfortable starting him yet. Let him develop a little bit more. Plus, don't miss out on Connor Williams. He was pre-ACL injury in December. He was the highest graded center in football. You're really going to let that leave Seattle without signing a contract. Don't. Don't do that. That would really upset me. Patriots. Your whole offense is practically new. Besides Hunter Henry, Juju, Ramondre Stevenson, and some parts of your O-line. New quarterback, new receivers, actually two new quarterbacks. Why the hell did you draft Joe Milton for? You didn't need him. Um, and I guess filling in the shoes of Bill Belichick, Gerard Mayo has a, a big pair of shoes to fill in. But I'm confident that he could maybe do it. I'm not sure. Uh, Cleveland Browns, Deshaun Watson. Houston Texans. I really don't want to say this, but CJ Stroud could have a sophomore slump and just completely be, just bomb this season. Um, that would really suck. And also, your running backs are not that good. Damian Pierce sucks. Joe Mixon, you could have had someone else. Like, you you just settled for him. But you did sign Cam Akers recently, so that makes no difference, actually. Um, and also, the attitude of Stephon Diggs, because he already got into a fight. Good job. Kansas City Chief. What is the back-to-back -back Super Bowl champion's biggest issue? The age of Travis Kelsey and Andy Reid. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Um, also, Rasheed Rice needs to be suspended. Dallas Cowboys, your running back room sucks. Jerry Jones, why is he still the owner of your team? Or GM? What, what does he actually do? Seriously, what does he do? Nothing. That's the answer. He does nothing for your team. Los Angeles Chargers. Um, your offense for um, Justin Herbert, one of the saddest things I've ever seen. You took the Ravens to running back room because you have Greg Roman. Your starting receiver is possibly Quentin Johnston. But if it's not him, Josh Palmer, Ladd McConkey, Cornelius Johnson, Brendan Rice. Your tight ends are Hayden Hurst and Will Disley. I'm demanding a trade. I 
don't care. I would demand a trade in a heartbeat. New York Jets, the turf you play on. Can you change that pretty please? Carolina Panthers, um, the stench that Frank Reich left there. Like, who, who knows how you guys are going to play. This offense barely has chemistry together. I've said that quite a few times, but it, it's true. A lot of these guys are new. Uh, Miles Sanders needs to be cut. Chuba Hubbard should be cut. Why is he still employed? Um, you lost Brian Burns, so that, that sucks. You did extend Derek Brown, though, so that's good, I guess. And now the Titans. Um, relying on Will Levis thinking he's going to be this god quarterback this year just because the old offense you have supporting him. I'm not, I'm not saying that because I think he's bad. No, I, I think he's good. But you're putting the pressure onto him. And if he, he, if he doesn't play good for like three weeks, you're probably going to go into panic mode because you think this... Offense consisting of DeAndre Hopkins, Calvin Ridley, Tyler Boyd, Tony Pollard. Don't know who your tight end is. You're building your own line for him, but your weapons for him are not the best. You overpaid Calvin Ridley. D-Hop, this is probably his last year. Tyler Boyd is getting up there in age. Tony Pollard sucked last year when he got his starting role opportunity that he deserved at the time. Man, I, f I kind of feel bad for Will Levis because, once again, if he doesn't play good, people are going to start calling for his head. And it's not his fault. It's media's fault. Colts. Um, let's just say Anthony Richardson goes down again. Who Who is his backup? Who, you don't got the Gardner Minshew anymore. You have... Like, 40-year-old Joe Flacco. Cool. Comeback player of the year. Ooh, he threw two straight pick sixes in the playoffs, bro. <laughs> and, um... Your defense, it's kind of it's old, so, yeah. And ending with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Your biggest issue... Um... You're receiving core outside of Brian Thomas. Like, Zay Jones, I'm pretty sure he got cut. Christian Kirk, I didn't hear anything out of him last year. Brian Thomas is a rookie. Um, yeah, and outside of those two, possibly three, I don't know one name there. And also... The Trevor Lawrence contract. That's a big issue because he did not deserve that contract. My opinion, though. So, correct me if I'm wrong, I guess. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And turn the notification bell on so you'll never miss an upload. I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!